everyone, this is Brit of Brit in Toyland coming to you with another Avatar The Last Airbender review. Uh, this is for another plushie review. And these are the cute pal plushies for Aang, Katara, and Sokka. So we'll focus in on Aang first. These are pretty cute. I like the stylized approach they went for him, just like the little black eyes and uh, minimal sort of detail in the eyes and the mouth. Sort of Funko Poppy, no noses. Well, Funko Pops have noses. But, you know, minimalist detail that uh, makes him look really cute. Um, so yeah, face is nice. He's got the classic arrow, of course, and it goes all the way behind the head. He's got the arrow on his two hands. His staff, um, it's kind of like, feels like a felty material, a little sturdier than that. They did a little bit of detail with the, uh, the dot that they put, with the dot that they put in there. Um, and it's on the, it's also on the back, you can see there. Probably the only worry is that it might fall off, but not too bad. Detail on the outfit is actually quite good. They uh, they did the pants properly where it's like goes all the way down the front to like his sort of knees and shins here, but then it like tapers off from sort of his tailbone at the back. And the nice work on the feet. Whoop, they're not gonna stand on their own or anything. And they don't really move one way or the other, but they look pretty good overall. The big tag it comes with, Avatar Legends, logo, and plush. And on the back, same idea, cute pal. Get closer up for that. Try to let it focus. And he comes with uh, one of those little hanging clips on the back. I ordered this from a uh, big bad toy store, so I like didn't see it on the shelf or anything. Oh, and then this tag here, if you're interested. So we'll move on to Katara. And Katara's also really nice. Very cute, again. Monolist detail on the face, which is nice. I like these like little smirks that she and Aang both have. His, his kind of goes to his right cheek and hers goes to her left cheek. It's cute. Katang! Make him kiss. Mwah! <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's got her hair loopies and they're detached. They're clipped on with a piece of like blue fabric. So that's neat. Jump around a little bit. The hair is maybe a little darker, a little blacker than it actually is on the show. But it, you know, it's it works for this. Back, we get her nice braided ponytail that uh, the hair loopies tie into. Super nice. Uh, we also have her water skin. It's kind of a little hard to see, but some plastic detailing just to show the pattern that's on the water skin. And that is sewn to the back of her clothes, so you can't move it or anything. Then you just have the, uh, the strap on the front. Outfit, again, details very nice. Looks exactly like her book one outfit. And it's book one because she's got the full sleeve. And uh, she doesn't just have like the short sleeve and bare arm there. Her little boots are so cute. They got like the little fuzzy fur going around. The bottom of the feet are like kind of not quite weighted, but they have like a hard piece underneath. Again, they're not gonna stand on their own or anything, but it's just nice. You do get movement in the skirt, down. Again, you have this little hook on the head that I'm gonna take off eventually. And then we get our Avatar Legends logo, Katara plush. Flip it around. And then this guy, just for you to see. All right, and finally, Sokka, meet and sarcasm guy. Move this guy's back a little bit. We get the full effect, and so it's a bit of a grumpy Sokka. It's very boy in the iceberg Sokka. Not very convinced by all this flying and magic, which he just did not ask for. 
but he looks cool. It's a cute. Again, just the minimalist features make it a very cute pose. Uh, a lot of Sokka figures that have come out, he does look very stern, angry. But this one is nice. It's kind of got his character to him more. So he's got, you know, his uh, shaved head. You, you can see it's a different color from his face to like to show the shaved part of his head at the back. It's kind of unfortunate that you see all the seams come in there, but what can you do? He got his little warrior's wolf tail. Very nice. He's got his boomerang, which is very nicely detailed. It's got like uh, the right coloring, the right spots. It's even got the little notch at the end there, which is very cool. Same on the opposite side. Outfit looks great, uh, exactly how it looks in the show. Again, the boots weighted at the bottom there. Then he's got his little boomerang holster strapped to his back. This is sewn to his uh, to his hands, so I don't think it would come off. I don't think it would even fit in here. It's just sort of for show. Uh, yeah, we got the hook again, and then we got the logo, the card, Sokka, Q Pals plush. Flip it around. There you have it. And then finally, this little sticker. So let's get all three of them together. The OG team avatar. <laughs> kind of hard to hold all three, but we're doing our best. There you go. Whoa, Aang's falling over. So there you have it. The, uh, the cute pals plush. Very fun, very cute. If they make more, I'd definitely get some to definitely, you know, cap off Team Avatar if they made a Suki and a Toph and Zuko. Very nice. Let me know in the comments if uh, you guys have picked these up or are planning to, what you think of them. And thanks for watching. Till next time, bye bye.